While the haters piled on the Ghostbusters trailer, even though I think it looks like a good time, you may have missed the new Artery Roto-Rooter tool, the study that has monkeys piloting wheelchairs with their minds, and the instant learning brain upload that was foretold in a sci-fi movie. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where instantly learning how to fly a plane by direct upload to your brain is seriously not that far away. Hey, Mikey, I think he likes it. Researchers at HRL Labs are developing a system that can upload information directly into your brain to help it learn more quickly. The team first recorded the electrical signals from an experienced pilot's brain as he used a lifelike flying simulator. They then fed that information to novice pilots as they learned to fly the same virtual aircraft. Pilots that received stimulation learned 33% faster than those who did not. The system is still in the early stages of development, but it could one day let people instantly learn just about anything. I will remember you. Researchers at Duke University have finally developed a wireless brain machine interface so that we can now avoid at least one part of that matrix future. This will feel a little weird. Good news, it involves monkeys, you guys. Scientists implanted an array that allowed them to wirelessly record the monkey's brain activity. The monkeys were then trained to steer a wheelchair toward a bowl of grapes using only their minds. And the best part is they got better at steering over time as their brains learned to treat the wheelchair as an extension of their bodies. This result gives researchers hope the technology will work for humans who lack motor control and of course those really, really lazy people who can't reach the last bag of Cheetos from the couch. Cardiologists spend a lot of time gouging out plaque inside of blood vessels, one of the most useful treatments for people with peripheral artery disease. The problem is that doctors were only using x-rays and their own sense of touch to clean things up. Seems like a bad call. The FDA just approved this new thingamabob from the company Avenger. It helps surgeons see inside blood vessels with a tiny built-in camera for real-time accurate plaque shaving. Family film night just got way weirder than seeing your great aunt in a swimsuit, mostly because she was a fox. How this would have shocked your great grandmother. And now TLDR, where we do the week summarizing for you because there's no way in hell anyone else would watch the Apple and FBI testimony unless you were forced to live blog it like some poor suckers here at Engadget. Apple and the FBI testified in front of a Congressional Judiciary Committee on the whole unlocking the San Bernardino shooter's phone issue. Google's autonomous car got into its first at-fault fender bender. Kanye may have stolen software via torrents. Fuller House is coming back for a second season, and antivirus guru John McAfee says he'd have no problem being president. You know who else wouldn't? Like every Republican, because it's battle time.